Now we start to draw a house type layout. The basic way we commonly use is create walls, and on the basic of walls, we create doors, windows, columns, etc. Finally, we create ceilings. Step one: creating walls. The first option to create wall is click the icon of room. Then you can see a room model, which shaped like a rectangle. Input the data accordingly. Click OK to confirm. The second option to create room is click more house tablets here, and the system provides several room types, which is frequently used, which is this type. Input the measurements accordingly. Click OK to confirm. On the lower left side of the screen. You can see the button undo, but remember the undo button only applies to the two-dimensional layout. The third option to create wall is click the icon free wall, then creating walls in a way of point-to-point -point connection. And on the upper left side here, we can set the relevant statistics of length, angle, and thickness. For example, length to be three meters. An angle, two hundred and seventy degrees. Thickness, a hundred and twenty. Press Enter to confirm. Using the same method, and we can create a closed room. Right-click to confirm. Now we use the first option to create walls. Choose the default setting. Of six meters by four meters to create walls. Then, on the basic of walls, we can create doors and windows. From the left panel, select the icons of door or window. For example, window or bay window. Here, we choose window. Use the mouse to move the cursor, and you will find out that the window. Is absorbed on the walls automatically, and we put it in this position. Then right-click to confirm. Similarly, as for the types of walls, we can choose single door, double door, sliding door, folding door, or Arcadia door. We select single door. Move the cursor on walls. The door will absorb on windows automatically. Pay attention to the prompt here. Left click to confirm. Right click to exit. Press the space bar to switch the door's open direction. Then we press the space bar. Left click to confirm. If you need to create other doors, then continue on the process. If not, right click to exit. We can also furnish the room with some girder or. Column. You can see here we choose column, and input proper measurements. For example, three hundred and twenty by three hundred and twenty. Click OK to confirm, and put the item in proper place. After creating door, window, and column, we can design the elevation of the room. On the drop-down menu, we can see many comments here, and we click Auto Ceiling. Specify a point inside the room in the window that pops up. Set the elevation. Click OK to confirm. We could see a red line here along the walls. Click the red line, then click Parameter, and you can see the elevation of the room. You can also change the data of elevation here. Click OK. Next, we can create ceiling. There are two ways to do it. Option one: on the drop-down menu, click ceiling block. So, by the way of point-to-point -point connection, we could draw the model of the ceiling. Right-click to confirm. Then 
select whether the ceiling lights to have embedded slot or not, and set the proper elevation data. The second way is to create ceiling manually. On the drop down menu, click ceiling block. This time, the ceiling are not created by the way of point to point connection, but by the way of diagonal connection. Left click to confirm. We can either choose the ceiling lights embedded slot or not, or use the existing ceiling types the system provides, and we can also set the ceiling type and the elevation. Click OK to confirm. So the ceiling is created. Done.